So I've been saying on my channel for many months now that security is one of my major pickups. So security in general of a home business or area is one of my biggest things. Like we need the ability to protect our surrounding areas as well as our friends and family and objects. And I've done many reviews regarding security cameras. A lot of the cameras I've reviewed are up in my property, facing forward, left, right and center. So every inch of my property is covered. Now, it's not a major issue all over the UK from where I'm from. You know, different areas of the UK is more safer than others, um, but you can never be too sure. So I believe that security is one of the highest priorities of when it comes to owning a home. Never mind the little niggly bits, but I do believe security is a major one. Now, we've all seen online regarding uh, video doorbells. Now, video doorbells, in my eyes, are an incredible piece of kit because it allows you to see, A, who is at your door, B, allows you to communicate with the person or people at your door, and as well, it allows you to monitor what's actually going on in front of your property. So that's pretty much what we are doing today. We are looking at a doorbell, a smart home doorbell, and this is from a company called X2U. XTU, sorry. So guys, this is what we are looking at. This is the XTU J7C battery power doorbell camera. And obviously play it anywhere, monitor anywhere. So it's 100% wire free, no cords, no wires, no worries. So this is a 2K camera, clear night vision, PIR motion detection, real time alerts. They are IP66 waterproof, got full duplex two way audio, rechargeable battery built in, as well as cloud storage and local storage. Meaning you can either use the cloud that comes with the app for this, which we'll go into a little bit later, or you can add a micro USD card um, at your own will if that's something you would prefer. So, waste no more time, let's get into this and actually see what we get in the box. So, I don't know why, I always find that so satisfying when doing that. So, this is literally all we get inside the box. We get a little bag of goodies, we get a user manual, and we get the camera as well as the backing plate, which is just there. So, let's put this to one side and we'll have a look at what we actually get inside the little goodie bag. So, what we do get is we do get a little Phillips screwdriver going on. No, so, oh, sorry, a little Torx screwdriver going on there. Not sure what size Torx that is. Might be a T10 or a T15. Um, we get that. We do get a little packet of three plugs and three screws. So obviously this will be if you're mounting it to wood, concrete, plastic, you name it, unless you're going to use sticky back paint. Uh, this is pretty much what we're going to be using. They do also supply two little uh, US, uh, USD uh, double-sided pads. These are extremely strong because I've had these on many products before. They do supply two of them as well as well as a USB to micro USB cable. Yes, we don't see these very often, but these are generally just for charging. They're not for all time use. As well as we do have a tiny little torque screw. This is gonna go onto the bottom of the case. I'll show you just now, which is gonna go onto the bottom of the case through the gold pin there, through the little plastic sheath, just making sure that the camera itself and the back and plate are connected at all times. So I'm just going to pop all the little goodies back into its little bag so we can talk about the manual and the camera itself. So let's have a little look see at the manual. So like I said, this is the manual you will get. This is everything you need to know all to do with the user manual about this uh, front door cam. So it's pretty much going to tell you everything you need to know from QR codes to what all the other devices do on the actual um, camera itself. You've got power on, you've got the app as well, Cloud Edge. Uh, so what we're going to quickly do is open up my phone. I believe I already have Cloud Edge. Yes, I do. So I already have Cloud Edge for many of my other products. What I'm going to do is go into screen record. I'm going to pop my phone over to this side. And what we're actually going to do is, down, is actually go through the process of adding this first of all before we start looking into it. So what we're going to do is on the camera itself, as we can see, we do have a few things going on. So on the side here, we do have a little inspection plate as well as some speaker nodules. On this side, we do have another inspection plate. On the rear, we do have a button, which we will go into of what it actually is for. So I have just had a look. This is actually a tamper alarm. So when this is actually connected up to the gates, this will be pressed in. 
When you're obviously not connected anymore and someone tries to remove this, the tamper alarm will go off and you will get a notification telling you roughly what's going on. So we do have the doorbell's information going on at the back here. And like I said, on the bottom here, we do have the connecting screw. This is going to connect it to the case itself. And then on the top, we don't really have much. So what we're going to have to do is looking in the inspection plates. So inside this one, we do have the charger port for the micro USB, which is nicely locked away by a little waterproof secure case. And on the other side, we have three different options here. We have the on off button. We have a reset button as well as a micro SD card. Now, what I'm going to do is actually turn this on while we're here. And straight away, it's actually just giving me an indication that it is actually turning on. So what we're actually going to do is follow the instructions and get this connected up to my phone. So what it says is we have to download the Cloud Edge app, which I already have. Obviously, you can scan these QR codes and it'll actually tell you exactly where to go. And then switch on the doorbell and you will see an LED indicator flashing, which we can right there. The LED indicator is flashing. I'm going to go into add a device onto my phone. So we're going to go to, sorry, go to smart doorbell, click on smart, smart video doorbell. Tell me to put power onto the device, which I already have. I'm going to click on next. Press the bell button. And we're going to click on next. So I've got to hit the reset button five seconds until the indication turns red. So one, two, three, four. Right. So I've just had a little notification there. And there we go. So the LED has just made a noise. And I've just got to wait till it starts flashing. Then I've got to hit on next. There we go. It's starting to flash red. I'm going to click on next. So the one thing it is asking for is for us to connect to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. You can set this up very easily with your router. Even if you do have a new version of the 5G, 4G router, you can actually go into your router settings and create a new one just for 2.4 gigahertz. It's really simple. So I'm just going to type in my uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi password right now. Don't worry, mine's going to be blurred out. Don't really fancy you seeing it. So what's telling me to do there is to remove the protective cover, which we already have done. I've got to click on next. It's going to give us a QR code. I have to hold this five to eight inches away from my phone for it to connect. And straight away, it made a noise and there was no issue whatsoever. So it's telling me to please wait a moment. It's given us roughly just over two minutes to actually connect to this device. Uh, the device itself is currently blue, so that's a good sign. And at the moment, it is making sure the device is energized. Uh, is energized. Oh, and there we go, straight away. So here is my camera. Connect su uh, successfully my camera, which is the number they're going on there. So I'm going to pop the camera just there because we're going to go into diagnostics. We're going to click on next. It's going to establish an encrypted channel, which is about to be ready. So what I've done there is I've actually muted uh, the doorbell because there's always going to be interference while using the phone directly next to it. So what we're actually going to do is just have a look through some of the settings and then we're going to go through the installation process of actually getting this guy installed on my front door and going from there. So as we can see, we have the camera going on right here. If I click on the doorbell, as you can see from the phone, uh, 105 a you have a visitor. So I'm going to click on call. And now I am preparing the no, intercom. Oh, so I'm not going to talk through there because it will sound a little bit shocking. We will do that when I actually install the camera itself. Uh, I'll call the camera itself and we'll go through the process. But at the moment, what we're going to do is actually go through some of the apps and some of the settings of roughly what's going on. So we're going to go from the front here. So on the live view, we currently have the Wi-Fi, which is a 72%. We have the battery, which is just over half. And then we also have the bit rate, which is just over... 13 kilobytes per second and it's juttering in and out so we do have screenshot we have intercom record motion detection tamper alarm siren and then we also have album so screenshot self-explanatory we'll take a screenshot of the situation going on what the camera can see intercom this will allow us to actually uh, so intercom will actually allow us to speak through into the actual uh doorbell itself so the people on the opposite side of the doorbell can hear what we're talking about we have record so if you want to do a continuous recording without any notifications click on record it will record what's going on so if there is someone at your door 
that you don't want to be or you don't know why they're there you can just click simply record and it will start recording the process we have motion detection so we can turn this on or off so every time motion is detected by the doorbell it will tell you we have the tamper alarm but obviously at the moment the tamper alarm is currently depressed so it's not until we actually have this set up uh, onto the back and plate click the tamper alarm this will actually show us and tell us that the tamper alarm is activated we have siren as well so we can activate a siren if you know if there's a disturbance going on sorry the camera keeps going in and out if there's a disturbance or anything going on so it'll actually tell us if there's a disturbance or anything going on and then obviously album of course speaks for itself every time you take a video or a recording or a screenshot it will show up here now if we go to history history is pretty much the exact same it will show you the history for the previous days or weeks or months but what's actually gone on on certain days you do need sd cards in this or you do need cloud storage for this to work but it's pretty self-explanatory and then of course we have the cloud this will actually allow you to instead of uploading things to a micro sd card you can upgrade them and update them directly to the cloud itself which is extremely cool now we're just going to go through oh clicked off that we're just going to go through some of the settings just quickly before we actually go into the installation process so basically on the settings we have everything we need we have the information receive alert installation guide so if you do get another one of these or a different version of this you can go for the installation guide again and it'll help you you have device share so if you want to share this one have your friends your family your siblings a nanny a babysitter you can go through here and actually share it to other devices so we also do have the cloud storage services which does allow you to have seven day trial for free and then from there you can actually understand whether if you want to go further on and then we also have check for new versions so if you can do uh, software updates directly from the app as well we can restart a device delete a device or re-add a device so it's pretty much self-explanatory so it really does speak for itself so let's not waste any more time i'm going to pop downstairs now to my front door and actually get this installed so let's go do that now So like I said, this has been pre-recorded just for the matter of fact that this is currently uh, actually fitted to my door as we speak. But I did like the fact it's got simple on-off switches, reset, as well as micro USD uh, USB cards. We saw from the app that uh, this has full ledge view of my front area in the house. These really are an aesthetic. Obviously, aesthetically pleasing looks incredible because, you, you know, if this is going to be fitted to your front door, you don't want something that's looking a little bit shady doesn't look very nice you want something that's going to be a little bit pleasing because it is your property in the end of the day so alone it really does look incredible so i have to admit i have another version of this i'm going to be reviewing next obviously these are totally different cameras uh, but i will i will link both of them into the video description as well as the company's website but just remember if you own a house a flat uh, a complex a bungalow you name it I really do recommend a video doorbell for so so many reasons not everybody that knocks at your door could be a genuine person or a safe person especially when it comes to the summer months leading to christmas christmas is normally the most ex extensive time when people will try and you know they they do silly things because they are in different situations so something like this can allow you to save so much more money in the long run if say something did happen to your property so I really do recommend you go and grab one or a couple or whatever. Head down the links in the description. All the links will be there as well as the information. <clears throat> if you do get one and you're not 100% sure what's going on or what you need to do with it, drop it down in the comment section. I am more than happy to help, especially when it comes to security. But as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And have a great day.